Hi guys, my name is Rushab. Welcome to part 3 of the video series of Fixed Deposit Tracker. If you haven't seen part 1 and 2, click on these links and then come back here for a better understanding. So now we have done certain analysis. Let's go ahead and do more analysis on this data. We will now be using equal to sum and equal to sum if formulas to do more analysis. The three things that we want to know is first total interest amount. So what's going to be the total interest amount that I'm going to earn out of all the fixed deposits. Second, out of this total interest amount, how much have I already earned? And third, how much am I going to earn? Let's see how to find these things. For the first one, we'll use a simple equal to sum formula. So here I will write equal to sum tab and select the entire column of interest amount. Close the bracket and press enter. So that's my total interest amount, which we calculated very easily. Let's go ahead and see how to use equal to sum if formula to find out what is the total amount of interest that I've already earned. In other words, what is the total amount of interest of the fixed deposits that have already been matured? Logically, as we saw in the first two videos, the maturity number of days, that is the M column, whenever that is negative means the FD has already matured. So let's use that logic here as well. Equal to sum if. The first thing it is asking you for is the range. So here select the M column, comma. What is the criteria less than zero? But in this particular formula, whenever you want to put a criteria which has a less than or a greater than sign, you need to use double quotes, comma, sum range. What are you trying to find? The interest amount, right? So select the interest amount column, close the bracket, press enter. So the total interest that you've already earned is 117 rupees and 12 pesa. Let's match this. We know that only this particular one FD has been matured. So that particular amount and this amount is matching. Let's go ahead. What is the amount of interest to be earned? Meaning the total amount of interest of the FDs which are not matured yet. Similar equal to some formula range will be the M column that is number of days to maturity comma here the criteria will be greater than equal to zero exactly reverse of what we did earlier comma some range will be again the interest amount close the bracket enter. So we are yet to earn 35,593 rupees and 42 paise. Simple. Now let's move on and use pivot tables to do some more analysis. Let me give you an example. First to create a pivot table, select the entire data, including the headers. Go to the insert tab and click on pivot table. Here we can simply press OK if you want the pivot table to come into a new sheet. But we want the pivot table to appear here down itself. So we will click on existing worksheet and we will choose, let's say this as our location and press OK. Let's see what all analysis we want to do using the pivot table. First, we want to know family member wise, number of fixed deposits created, sum of the interest amount and sum of maturity amounts. Let's do this one first and then I'll explain you the others. So let's take family member and put it in row labels here. So your three family members appear here. What we want is number of fixed deposits. So we take bank and we put it in values. So now we know for each person there are three deposits each. Next what we want is sum of interest amount. So we will take the interest amount and put it in values. So we got the sum of interest amount. And similarly, we take the maturity amount and put it in values again, we get a sum of maturity amount. So in a single shot, we got all this analysis using pivot table in probably less than 10 seconds. That's how useful it is. Let us create one more pivot table with similar outputs required. So I again select my entire data, go to insert pivot table, choose my location as here and press OK. Now we want to know bank wise number of fixed deposits created, sum of interest amount and the sum of maturity amount. So we take bank and put it in row labels 
and do the same thing again as we did in the earlier example. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's take one more example, which is very, very useful. Now what we want to know is year wise and month wise, what is the sum of interest that we're going to earn and what is the sum of maturity amount that we're going to get from the banks. So select the entire data again, insert tab pivot table. I'm going to take this as my location. You can choose whatever you like and press OK. I'll just scroll to the right. Here what we want is maturity date wise. So we take maturity date and put it in row labels. We want the total of interest and the total of maturity. Now, right now we are getting the dates, but we don't want the dates. We want years and months. So we right click on any of these dates and go to group. Here we click months, press control and click on years and press OK. Wow. This way you can use pivot tables for whatever kind of analysis you want. It'll do things for you like magic. Thank you for watching.